In this video we will show the basic connections of the SI23 from the AC side straight through to the motor. Firstly when looking at our SI23 we can read the terminals here at the bottom from left to right. Starting at the left we have our PV negative input, PV positive input, PV ground, RL or live, S, TN or neutral, U, V and W which are our pump connections and then our common ground. Firstly we can start working from left to right and connect our PV system if we are running a hybrid system. At this stage we must ensure that our PV system is not active and disconnected or the fuse is pulled uh, ensuring that there is no active power running to the wires or to our PV cables. Always good practice to start with our negative terminals first. This is just for the event that there is live power on our live line that if it shorts, it shorts to ground and shorts to neutral and doesn't shorts to the controller itself. Once our PV side is connected, we can move on to our AC side. And it's always important to remember your, the color coding of your wires, uh, just taking photos beforehand to make sure you connect everything correctly. In this case, we will be using blue, red, green, yellow, red being live, blue being neutral, and our green, yellow being earth. So we can start by connecting our live line to RL or live. And then we can connect our neutral line to TN or neutral. For normal single phase 220 we do not connect anything to S, um, this will only be used for three phase connections. Then we can proceed to our ground wire. It's always always recommended to install a ground wire. Um, this is just to ensure in the event of a surge, adverse weather, that the energy dissipated by lightning uh, or the static energy dissipated by lightning um, is sent through the ground and not through the drive itself. Once our AC side is connected, we can connect our motor. It is best to follow the instructions from the manufacturer as to how to connect, but in general, we will see our wires look like this. A brown, a black, a blue, and a ground. Normally, the pattern we install or is installed is brown, blue, black with our ground uh, but as mentioned before it is best to look at the manufacturer's instructions. In this case we are connecting brown, blue, black starting with brown to you our blue to V And black to W. And then our ground can be connected to our common ground. As always, it's crucial to install the grounding wire to ensure in the event of a surge or high static energy that this can be sent straight to ground and not through the drive. Once that's all installed, it's always just good practice to double check all the connections that they are nice and tight and that they don't pull loose. It's always good practice to run the pump outside of the borehole or the motor at least without its wetting just to ensure that it's running the right connection and that the controller is receiving information from it. There we can power up.
Then when running the motor, we want to see it run in a clockwise, anti-clockwise direction. And introduce it here. And then we can run. You can see our motor is starting up immediately. Introducing a bit of wobble in our camera setup. And we've reached our desired frequency, so we know all our connections are correct and the motor is ready to be installed in the ballpark. Ball.